Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, we're going to be talking about 3D modeling, not 2D modeling. Uh, so let's go ahead and close this. Uh, we're not going to save anything. And let's open up ZBrush. Now I'm going to um, repeat this information because I think it's really useful and really important. If you have an artist pad up over here and you actually want to switch to uh, the one that's appropriate for whatever program you have up, if it's available, if it exists, then what you can do is you can go down. Let's close this. So I'm doing a three finger swipe down, uh, which is Windows D. And I'm just going to click right here, just a single time click on the uh, Tablet Pro pen tool icon. OK, and that's launched our Tablet Pro Artist Pad. Again, this is different software but I'm showing you for, well, because it's important. If you want to use a Surface Pro here, then this is uh, the right way to do it. Okay, we're also going to do Control Shift T to um, hide the taskbar, which is going to extend the artist pad down all the way. So I'm using the stylus. I'm going to hit Control Backslash to open up the pen tool. I have sticky modifiers. I have right click on barrel and alt with 3D modeling selected here. These are my settings, sticky modifiers, 3D modeling, right click. OK, we're going to close this. So I'm double tapping on the apply button. And here you can see I can, using the invert button, do all these normal things here. Um, and you can do that without any pen tool software invert. If you have a two button stylus, this will allow you to sub and add just like that. Now, where we have the new magic is you can also drag the screen. So uh, let's see, Windows has a setting here. I'm going to turn this on for this video. OK, so here and settings and Bluetooth devices, pen and Windows Ink. Pen and Windows Ink. Additional settings, we're going to turn on this bottom one, display additional keys. This is going to just show the modifier that's being pressed. All right, so here you can see Alt. And excuse the lag, uh, my computer has a lot going on here. So here you're going to drag. If you hover the pen, release the side button, and go up and down, it's going to allow you to zoom in and out. You can just tap the button when you're hovering and go up and down, and it'll allow you to zoom in and out that way also. So. Tap while hovering, drag, hover, release, and it gives you a lot of control. Tap while hovering and move, and it will just let you zoom in and out of the model. So this is really cool. Uh, I think it works better than a lot of keyboard solutions. Again, it is lag for even the actual non-screen uh, recording version of this. You can see here, very cool. You can go in and out of adding and subbing just like you would expect. And now the other button is set to right click and hover. So you can see I can do quite a bit with the two side buttons on the stylus. Now over here, oh, and you can you can also just uh, right click by tapping the side button and not moving uh, barrel button. Okay, so over here we have the artist pad. And one of the things that I'm really happy about is that with sticky mods, we can actually do some stuff that we didn't used to be able to do. Now, Alt is not great here. However, if you're zoomed into a model and you're just adding here, but you, you want to sub, you can just tap Alt and it's going to stay on. It's going to allow you to use the stylus to sub until you're done, which for some of us, like if you don't, OK, we're way too big here. Let's bring this down. So here, if I press Alt, it's going to let me use Alt until I pick the pen up, and then it's going to uh, go back to adding. So this is going to allow you to uh, sub and add uh, without having to press the side button so many times. Tap, and you can smooth uh, really easily that way. Same thing with Control. It'll allow you to mask. All right, that's it for this video. If you guys have questions about 3D modeling and the pen tool on Tablet Pro, I will be making a dedicated 3D modeling video 
that uh, shows off a little bit more of the setup process. All right, that's it. Stay tuned. And the next video, we will go into more detail on smart mods.